What's going on guys, welcome back to another Real NBA video. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bulls and their squad. So yesterday they played their first basketball game since March. Because you know COVID ruined everything and stuff and all this stuff. There is a lot to talk about with the Chicago Bulls. They have a lot of new additions. A lot of people left the squad since March. So yeah, let's talk about what are my thoughts on the game so like i said the bulls looked rusty especially at the beginning of the game at the beginning of the game it showed a lot the whole team looked just like kind of uncoordinated there was a lot of turnovers and just a lot of just bad decisions but after that like i say like the first half of the first quarter was pretty hard to watch <laughs> uh, i mean in my opinion but then after that it, they turned it around and it was a pretty good game. Otto Porter Jr. looked like, you know, his old self. And if he can stay healthy, I think he can become his old self, which is something good to see, you know, his old 18 points per game self that he was back a couple of years ago. Um, He was hitting his mid-range shots and he just looked like he can put up those points again. And also Larry Markkinen looked like he can become his old self again as well. Larry, he had some explosive moments. He had one play where he hit a spin move and hit a layup over a couple of a couple of defenders and that was really exciting to see he was hitting his three pointers most of his three pointers and he just looked like he had confidence for the first time in a long time last year it, it just looked like he didn't have confidence and the game that i watched yesterday it he did look like he had confidence and obviously before i continue this is only one preseason game so obviously there's still a lot to happen you know preseason is not really it doesn't really show much you know in the long run especially after only one game but i'm still just gonna talk about it because there's really not much not much to talk about and the bulls haven't played since march so i'm kind of just wanting to talk about the bulls let's talk about kobe white now so yeah this is really his second game starting in the nba he did look like he you know he's just picking up from where he left off he can finish at the rim he can hit that mid-range shot and yeah um his defense kind of looked shaky at the beginning of the game john wall was just driving to the paint but other than that he played really well sadaransky off the bench he led the second unit pretty well he was a good facilitator and he just led the t second unit really well but let's talk about Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams was obviously the star of the show with this being his first game in the NBA and he looked like a natural. He didn't look like a rookie out there. He looked, he looked calm and collected. His mid-range jumper was on point. He was able to consistently get open for a jump shot and just overall his debut was good in, in my opinion. Like his, he didn't look too like nervous. Like I said, he looked like he was a natural out there. He was hitting his mid-range shots. He looked like he can, he, he has a lot of potential. Like he, he looked like he has a lot of potential to become a really good shot creator, which is something I didn't really expect. I expected him to become a good player when it came to, you know, attacking the rim, maybe getting wide open jump shots that, that he would be able to make, but he was able to, you know, get open for some shots. He hit a little post uh, fadeaway hook, like a, a, a post hook. That was pretty good. It is concerning for Larry Markkinen though, because if Patrick Williams, you know, becomes a really good scorer in the NBA and a really good defender, then he might take over the power forward spot in the starting lineup. Unless, you know, unless he, unless Williams is able to play a three spot, but I don't know, because he might be too big for the three spot. And so I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see for that. There was a good stretch of the game where Patrick Williams legitimately looked like the best player for the Bulls out there when Zach Levine was on the bench and stuff like that. And then the downsides of the game, Wendell Carter, um, he he didn't have that good of a game. It, he picked it up later in the game, but for a good stretch of the game, he just wasn't doing that great. His shooting is not there yet. He was shooting a bunch of three-pointers. They were clanking off the side of the rim each time. He still needs to work on his three-point shot, you know, a lot. He needs to show his. Three, he needs to work on his three-point shot a lot before he starts consistently shooting them. He was just laying bricks out at the three-point line the whole game, and it didn't look good. Um, but like I said, only one preseason, only one preseason game. 
so he can still improve on that. Another downside was the defense didn't look too great at the start of the game. John Wall, like I said, he was just getting to the bucket with ease. He was, you know, too much for Kobe White to handle. And Wendell Carter was dealing with foul troubles, so he couldn't contest some shots at the rim. And just the defense didn't look too coordinated at the start of the game. So hopefully that improves because last year I felt like they were a pretty good defensive team when they were all healthy. But that was obviously with Chris Dunn and Shaq Harrison, but they're gone. And that, you know, like I said, and you know, that does make me worry because, you know, Chris Dunn and Chris Her and Shaq Harrison were both lead on defense and now they're gone. So, you know, hopefully the Bulls can make up for those two defensive players leaving because, like, those are two really good defensive players that are just gone now so and Kobe White I feel like he can become a decent defender but uh, I don't know Sadoransky same I think he can become a decent defender but they're not gonna become elite like Chris Dunn was so hopefully they can improve on that defensive end and that does make me worry maybe we have to look to trade for a for a defensive point guard like Lonzo Ball, because we do need a defensive point guard and a playmaker point guard like Lonzo Ball or someone like, you know, similar to Lonzo Ball if those two struggles continue with the defense and the playmaking. Obviously, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with the Pelicans if we can get Lonzo Ball or if we're going to have to settle with someone else or, you know, obviously if Kobe White and Sadoransky both just become good defensive players, then we don't have the trade for any of those two any of those defensive point guards. As for some other players, I still need to see some more out of Dotson, the, uh, the undrafted rookie, you know, to see what I think of him. He only played, you know, he only played a couple minutes. I think he only had like two points or something like that. I didn't see too much of him. He didn't play too much. And then Garrett Temple didn't play. So we'll have to see how he is with the team when he does play his first game with the Bulls. And, you know, this is let you see how the rotation is with Garrett Temple on the team. Because Garrett Temple, he was a really good player last year. And I feel like if he was on the court, maybe this game would have been closer. Obviously, the, the Bulls got blown out. But maybe with Garrett Temple, we get blown out by less. I don't know if we win. But overall, this is just one preseason game, like I said. So let's not jump to conclusion. Let's see how this team does after the next couple of games. And then the next couple of games after that. And then we'll see what the team needs and, and stuff like that. But yeah, that's really going to be all for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And comment down below what you thought about the Bulls yesterday. And I'll see you next time.